Hi, I'm Dan Nellis at Manatee Coast. I would like to introduce to you Millennium and Falcon, our new arrivals. They are rescued early October. Unfortunately, their mom was hit by a boat. Twins are very rare in the manatee world. I think it's only about 1% of the births are twins, and I think the survival rate is even less. We feel very lucky to have these two guys here. If you guys look farther out into the pool, you can see our other arrivals. That's Jedi and Junebug. They're actually last year's calves. These guys are each orphaned out in the wild. So they were pulled out and rescued. Now we're gonna do the rehabilitation and hopefully these guys will be ready next year for their re-release. Early, early, early Sunday morning, these guys were brought in here from Miami. They're flown in via cargo jet. They're actually transported in what we call a whale box. Now these guys are a little different than most marine mammals. Their skeletal structure is so strong that they don't need to be transported in water. So we have a specially designed whale box. It's padded on all sides, and we're able to get each one of those guys in their whale box. And then when they get them in here, we have a rehab pool right behind our dock here, and we kind of start things back there. It's easy for us to get things quiet and keep a little better control on things. Number one, make sure these guys are okay after that trip. And then we have to get used to the buoyancy. So there's gonna be different levels of salt in the water that they came from and the salt that we're putting them in. Once we can see that they're breathing okay, then we started putting everybody together. So we had the set of twins in one area, Jedi and Junebug in the other, and then everybody knows Stubby. She's been here for about 12, 13 years. She's one of the best surrogate manatees I've ever met. Uh, and it's one of the reasons we get these orphans up here. She's very good, got great maternal instincts. And I can't tell you what a joy it is to watch Stubby come in and get underneath them and bring them up to the surface and make sure that they're getting air and everything okay. And then she spends the rest of the night trying to talk them to come out into the exhibit and get something to eat. The next time you guys are at the Columbus Zoo, make sure you stop down here at Manti Coast and say hi to Millennium and Falcon, Jedi and Junebug. These guys are incredible. This is a rare thing that happens with the twins especially, but to have the four of them in here, everybody's going along just great. So make sure you come on down here. You can follow them throughout their stay here and even when they get released.